So normal distribution among the four distributions is one of the most detailed probability distributions. So in our revision class, we're going to apply simply the principles that you need to know. Whenever you give an equation and a normal distribution, you always be told that this is a normal distribution. It follows a normally distributed distribution. Now there are three characteristics you need to know when you're dealing with a normal distribution. What are those characteristics? Number one, What are the three characteristics of a normal distribution? The distribution is bell-shaped, as you can see. Number two, the distribution is asymmetrical about the mean, which means that the left mirrors the right. The mod, the mean, the median are all at the center, which is standard as zero. I wonder sometimes the normal distribution is usually 0, 1. So they give you this means the mean is here at 0 and the standard deviation is 1. So this is our normal distribution and each quadrant is 50%. The tails don't touch the best. So the area under the graph is the probability. So in this question here, rats have mounted officers to check and observe the speed of cars that pass through a checkpoint whose speeds are normally distributed with mu 61 and standard deviation 10. What is the probability the next car that passes through will be traveling slower? So when you look at the synonyms, slower means less, slower than 65. So using the number line, identify where the 65 is, which is here. Then slower, which side are we shading, the left or the right? Shading the left, the left because the left is synonymous to what less. So, shade until you can't shade anymore. So, here we shaded the left. So, step two, we have shaded. Step three, we standardize z is called what x minus mu, minus mu over standard deviation. So, we need to know what this 65 stands for. So 65 minus 61 over 4. What do we get? We get 1. So this is 1. So the area from this up to there, when you read it from the table, is more than 50%. So at one, when you go to the table, they give you 0 0.1, 8413. So in the table there, when you go down, read under one and under zero. So 1.0 is 0 0.8413. So this reading simply affirms that from here to here, it's 84%. So don't subtract from one. Just leave it as it is. But B, accept the probability that the next car passing through will be traveling at more than 66 kilometers per hour. So. And 66 is here. Which side are we going to shade? The left or the right? The right. right. So clearly, you need to tell that greater is on the right. And this part you are seeing here is a small shading. Whenever the shading is small, you know that the probability must be small and the answer must be subtracted from 1 or 0 0.5, depending on the table you're using. So step one, we standardize the 66. So that we um, compute. What are we getting? 
one point what? Two five. You always leave the Z value in two decimals because you can only read the tables in the nearest two decimal as a number. So 1.25, when you go to the table, what is the reading under 1.25? 0 0.8944. 0 0.2, four. 0 0.8944, exactly. So meaning the reading from here to here is 0 0.8944. So meaning what is the shaded region? Zero point one zero five six. So you simply subtract one minus zero point eight nine four four. So what do we get? Zero point one zero five six. One zero five six. Correct. So this is how this question is supposed to be answered. Unless there's anyone behind so far, please speak now or forever hold your peace. So with that being said, we'll go to look at another question and um, the same topic. So we're going to look at question number 14. I need you to participate in here. Each one to pick any of the questions and um, give me what has been given there. So what do we have here? Identify what has been given. So identify what has been given in here. Please give me what has been given. What do we have? We have the meal at 2.15. And standard deviation at 10 meals.
So calculate now for this part, calculate. So in this case, the soft drink machine is set to discharge to 15 on average. So that is our mean. With a standard deviation, 10 mils. If 225 mil caps are used, what's the proportion to overflow? Over is greater. So we are looking at this part here. So that's why we are shading this part. So we standardize. What are we getting? Two twenty five, two twenty five, two twenty five. Was there one? Okay, then the reading from here to here is your point. Eight one. Eight. <clears throat> so how do we get the associated region here? Uh, minus one. Great. Minus one. So how do we get when we subtract from one? Zero point one five eight seven. Zero point one five eight seven. Good. So what proportion? You can leave it in percentage whenever you <laughs> have. 15.87% will overflow. All right. What is the probability that a cup contains at least 200 mil of cool drink? At least means what? Less. At least means what? At least. And the at least means what? <laughs> Greater or less? At least, the least should be 200, so it has to be greater. Yes, it means that number and above. So 200 and above. So step one illustrates, step two shades, step three standardized. 200 minus 215 over 10. Our Z becomes mm -hmm. what? Negative 1.5. Mm -hmm. So negative 1.5, when you check negative 1.5 from the table, or 1.5 itself. Yeah, I mean. 0.9332. 0 0.9332. So since we're looking at this area here, do we subtract from one or we get it direct? It's a direct one. Okay, good, because the shading is big. So Z greater than 1.5. We get what? 0. Nine, three, three, two. Daph is too quiet. Who's too quiet? We're too quiet. We're following. We're following. Daph, are you following? Yes, Collins, I am. Yes. Huh. All right, please, I don't want to lose you. You lead us through this one here. Uh, what size of cups ought to be used if it's there without only 2% of a flow? What do we do?
Tandi, what are we supposed to do? Yeah. Okay, that's street. We last street. Uh-huh. Then okay, so what signs cups ought to be used? What are we looking for? The signs at the very side, yes. Whenever we're given a percentage, uh, what are we doing? We're going to find the the Z in the in the in the table. Yes, inside the table. Inside the table. So we're going to cut the two percent from this side because it says what overflow. Then what remains here? Eight percent. Huh? From 100 what and 8%, which is what? 0 point? 0 0.98. 98. What are we going to do to 0 0.98? We we'll look for it in the table. Yes, we we'll go inside the table and look for it. Excellent. So when we go inside the table, we're going to look under 0 0.9800, mm -hmm. which number is equal to or close to that. Okay. Yeah. So what are we finding? Um, me, I'm getting 2.05. Yes, 2.05, which is the closest, yes. So Z is 2.05. So here we we'll put Z. It's got 2.05. So the combination is got to Z is got to X bar. Minus mu over standard deviation. So where they said we're going to put what? 2.05. And our x is what? Remaining. 250. That's what we are looking for, yeah? And our mu is 215. Our standard deviation is 10. So you cross multiply and so for x. What are you Two thirty five point five. Two thirty five point five. Two point zero five times ten. Two x minus two fifteen. So twenty point five is equal to x minus two fifteen. So when this goes aside, our x is two thirty five. Two thirty five point five. Is it what yes. is it? Two thirty five point five. Yes. All right. So this is how this was supposed to be done.